Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike Reed Maiden, as we're on the road once again, taking youngsters behind the scenes. Baseball, baseball, baseball. So we got the major leaguers. And I found the man here for the Cleveland Indians. I'm going to let him introduce himself to my TV audience. Uh, my name is Lonnie Chisholm. I play third base for the Cleveland Indians. Okay, and where are you from? Uh, I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina. Yep. Can I call you a country boy? <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm a country boy, but I'm from the beach. So, uh, you know, I get a little bit of both. It's a, it's a nice area. Okay, well, I used to coach college baseball, oh. scouted for five major league teams. As every kid's dream that I ran across playing in the big leagues, you're in the big leagues. What's this experience like for you? I mean, it's unbelievable. It's, you know, more than I thought it would be. You know, I knew nothing about professional baseball in high school. <laughs> You know, I was drafted in high school. I didn't know enough about professional baseball to sign. And, you know, drafted out of college, I had no choice but to sign. And, you know, I'm here now. It's an unbelievable experience. You know, you, you can't even explain what it's like. It's it's the highest level of baseball you can make it to. And, you know, we're just so fortunate to be out here. We got unbelievable fans and unbelievable following. And, you know, we get to experience so much. It's, uh, you know, it's beyond, beyond words. So as a high school kid who want to play pro ball, know nothing about this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'd say, you know, just play hard, you know, uh, you know, you never know where baseball is going to take you, never know, you know, what it can do for you, mm -hmm. you know, all you can do is play the game the right way, play it hard, use the gifts that you're given, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, make the most of your abilities, you know, you, you want to go out there, you can play for whatever you want to play for, you can play for your family, you can play for your friends, you can play for yourself, and, you know, it's just a great game, it's, you know, such an old game, it's got, you know, such a history, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, so much can be learned from the game. So, when you were growing up watching this game, who were some of the guys that you idolized? I watched the Atlanta Braves, so, you know, I, it, it was mainly Chipper Jones, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, uh, guys like that. You know, you, you, you come home every day, it's on the TV, on TBS, you watch the Atlanta Braves, and, you know, it's kind of, you know, where, where I fell in love and, like, learned, learned about baseball, and I just wanted to be like them one day. You know, I had, I had no other aspirations other than to be a baseball player, and, you know, here I am, you know, it's few and far between guys that, you know, have the opportunity to play up here. And, you know, it, it's a long road to get here, but it's, it's worth it. So, I man, what was that experience like when you watch, see these guys, and all of a sudden you're playing on the same fields that these guys play on? Yep. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to, you know, play against some of the guys that I idolized coming up. And, you know, it, it's just kind of a dream come true. I mean, you, you're, you see them on TV. It doesn't seem real. It's, it's kind of like... You know, I don't even know how to explain it. Here, you just come out here, and and it turns out that you know they're just a normal guy. That's probably the best part about it. We're just normal people out here, and you know we just happen to play baseball. It's you know it's it's a good platform to you know for people to make a living and you know to make a name for themselves. But you know they're people too. So you know when I'm walking through the locker room, I see. And some of the players send the, the, the guys over and get autographs from the other teams. Like, what y'all doing getting autographs from y'all competition? Know. You know, we're, we're fans too, you know. Uh, you know, between the lines, you know, it's it's competitive. You know, we, we still, you know, talk and everything during the game. But, you know, we're, we're trying to win. You know, we're playing hard. We're breaking up double plays. We're running hard to first. You know, I, I'm trying, you know, to get a hit off every pitcher. You know, they're trying to get me out. So, you know, that's understood. But, uh, you know, there's a... Uh, you know, there's got to be some sort of camaraderie between the teams and understanding that, you know, I, I'm trying to beat you, mm -hmm. but, you know, it, it's nothing personal. So, you know, uh, if you like a player, you send a ball over, you get an autograph, you know, just like, you know, the people that wait out here to get our autograph. I mean, it's it's the same thing, you know, sometimes we get starstruck too. So I'm sure that all you guys got Cheetah's autograph on this last go right? Yeah, uh, I was, I think I got it in 2012. So, you know, I, I might try to get another one this year. Uh, Unbelievable player, you know. I grew up watching him. I, I feel like I, you know, I got to play against him a few times. I think he, uh, you know, he, he's always played against us pretty well. And you know, he's just going around. It's his last year. It seems a little surreal, but uh, you know, people are saying their goodbyes, and you know, we get to uh, look forward to hearing about him in the future. Okay, let me throw these last two questions at you, first, so I can let you get ready for the ball game. What are some, I'm going to let our youngsters know that some of the emotional roller coasters that a major league player go through during the course of a 162 game season. Yeah, I mean, you can probably see it on TV, you can see it on the field. I mean, 
we're throwing helmets, we're we're tossing bats. You know, uh, it, it's we're just competitive, and you got to find a balance where you know you're not getting too high when you're playing well, and you're not getting too low when you're not playing well. So you just got to kind of keep it even keel and. You know, uh, when, when good things are happening, you know, make sure you're smiling. When bad things are happening, you know, you just, you just, you know, you got to roll with the punches on that one and, you know, just wait for that hot streak. All right, last question. Let's take you back to that day when you got the call that you were going to make it to the big leagues. You walked in that locker room for the very first time and saw your uniform. What was that feeling like? I mean, everything just happened so fast. Uh, I think they called me at midnight and I was on a plane at 5 a.m. Uh, <laughs> You know, it just happened so fast. I enjoyed every minute of it. You know, walking in that locker room is uh, against the Arizona Diamondbacks. And, you know, seeing that name on the back of the jersey, hearing them announce your name, and, you know, we were on a away game. So hearing them boo you, uh, you know, it's just, it was awesome. I, I, you can't describe, you know, what you feel. You're feeling so many things. You're happy. You're proud. You, you hope as many people that, you know, your family gets to watch you, your friends get to watch you. Uh, in my case, my wife is there to watch me. And, you know, it's just a, a great experience. You know, you only get to do it once, and you know, it, it was it was all I wanted it to be. Coach Sergio Youngs is behind the scenes with the man for Cleveland, and we wish you well after you leave Chicago. Thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot.